Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all the puzzles I received for the month of September and there is a lot. I'm pretty sure there's just as many as last month. I have no idea how this happened. Where did they all come from? Who knows? But I can tell you that there are a lot of really fun, colorful, beautiful designs here. Lots of different brands, including some new brands to me. Uh, yeah, lots of different art styles. So yeah, I'm really excited to share these with you. And of course, I'll be listing them all in the description box below. So if you're curious about any, you can go and check them out there. So I think this could take us quite a bit of time to get through. So you might as well grab a drink, grab a snack, get comfy, and let's go through them all. Just like last time, I've decided to group all the puzzles based on the brand rather than where they came from. And we've got quite a few to get through. We've got, I think, four stacks of puzzles, so quite a few. So let's uh, start going through them all. So this first stack here is, uh, there's a whole bunch from Ravensburger. So there's a thousand piece one here and it is called um, Happy Halloween. And it's by the artist Demelsa Horton and she does some really cute uh, kind of like 3D sort of style looking artwork. But yeah, it's just a really adorable, um, sweet Halloween scene. Uh, I mean, I got it so I could try and do it this month for Halloween. So let's hope I can fit it in. I don't know if I'll be doing a video on it or even Instagram, but um, I definitely want to do it anyway because I just think it's so cute. So yeah, it's got um, you know, all these cute little, basically like, I guess, animals and children and that dressed up for sort of trick or treat. So we've got like a bear as a mummy. Um, we've got different ones wearing masks. So it looks like there's a little tiger with the sheet on being a ghost. There's someone in a bee costume. There's like a girl dressed as a witch or maybe she is a witch cause she actually seems to be flying. Um, but yeah, and we've got like pumpkins and owls and like I guess autumn colored leaves and yeah, all sorts of really adorable things going on, lots of details. Yeah, it's just a really cute image. And yeah, like I said, she's does a lot of this sort of, like all her work is in this style and it's always really cute and has really fun little characters. So I think this is gonna be a really cute, fun Halloween one to do. And then next we have a uh, 1000 piece Ravensburger, which is called Vintage Dress Making and I think, yeah, Vintage Dress Making by Amy Stewart. And I, when I saw this one, um, I think it's sort of from like the most recent release, which has actually been out a while now. Um, but I just really like this style of kind of collagey, uh, vintagey, like really pretty detail filled, lots of description words, um, puzzles by Amy Stewart. I just think they're always really beautiful and they, yeah, like I just always love the sort of vintage element she puts in and very like, Everything's very beautiful and pretty and there's always just lots of really cute details. Like, so this one's all um, like so vintage dressmaking, it's all sewing related. So we've got like, uh, you know, sewing scissors and like different cottons and threads and things and needles or pins. Um, sort of like a scrapbook of like different fabric cuttings and tape measures. Yeah, it's like all sorts of pretty much like sort of vintage sewing paraphernalia. Yeah, always, but it looks yeah, really pretty and um, I think it's gonna be an enjoyable one to do. And then next we've got this really adorable 1000 piece one, um, what's it called? The Happy Sheep Yarn Shop and it's by Nathaniel Mortensen, Mortensen sorry. Um, and yeah, I when I saw this one, I was like, this is so fun and happy and cheery. It's yeah, basically, it looks a bit fantasy. Uh, it's sort of, I guess this lady who's like a shepherd and or maybe she is a shepherd slash runs the colorful yarn shop and has all her rainbow wonderfully colored sheep, which all look really cute and a bit derpy and very happy. And yeah, it looks like a really fun place. This beautiful sort of green pastures, rainbows and little mountains and all cute little cottages and stuff. So it looks very idyllic. Um, yeah, look, it's just cute. Um, I've got, Another puzzle by this artist, um, it's got like all these colors, it's a Ravensburger one, I can't remember what it's called, it might just be potions or something, but it's got all these different potions and it's really like beautiful and colorful um, and I really enjoyed that. It's kind of a different style to this one actually, but yeah, both are just really uh, fun and bright, I think. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a very fun, cheery one to do. And then we have one here called Enchanted Lands 
and it's a uh, look and find puzzle. So one where you have to like, there's little hidden pictures in it and what else? Okay, it's by Steve Reed. Um, so yeah, this is a really pretty sort of fantasy kind of setting. And what is it? It's got, well, I guess here we've got like the white rabbit from like Alice in Wonderland. And I'm guessing this might be Alice. And then we got, what else? We've got other, all sorts of other little characters. I don't know if they're from like uh, specific fairy tales or if they're just more fantasy creatures. They might be, but I'm not too familiar with what they're all from, except for like the rabbit and I guess Alice. Um, but there's, yeah, really cute things. Like obviously it's in a beautiful, like sort of, I guess it's on a river and there's this nice old bridge and beautiful like trees and flowers and things. But then, yeah, some of the creatures here, we've got like a catfish like it's literally half a cat half a fish we've got mushrooms with faces we've got a little i guess kind of bird that's is the king i think it's a kingfisher because it's like a bird fishing with a little crown on it's like oh it looks like a wombat um like a little owl some mice uh yeah and it's really pretty and then there's all sorts of like i can actually see one of the hidden images i'm not going to tell you where it is but it's like a rabbit so that's really cute um, but yeah, I'm not, I, I often, I think I've said this previously, I often forget with these sort of like search and find kind of puzzles to actually remember to search for the thing that's you're supposed to search for. Um, I often just get like stuck into the puzzle and enjoy the puzzle image and then forget to like look for anything. Um, I'll try this time, but yeah, um, but regardless of like, like I didn't get it for the search and find novelty. I just got it because I think it's a really lovely beautiful image so yeah excited to do this one and then the last one we have from Ravensburger is the Grand Library 1500 pieces and this is also yeah from Amy Stewart and um it's sort of I guess a bit like her other sort of shelf series ones like it's sh bookshelves um and it's packed like her other ones it's packed full of detail and quite collagey as well and very fantastical um and I I almost feel like this is the master of all the shelf like series because it's called the Grand Library and the main like section in the middle is like one of those sort of um I guess old-fashioned fireplace like it's like an old-fashioned library with a fireplace and a nice chair which has a cat on it and a dog um like a little reading nook very plush looking and luxurious and then surrounded like surrounding that bit in the middle are like all these different books and little fantasy scenes so we've got like they seem to be like broken up into different themes so it's actually got on the bookshelf the little label so it's got like historical romance mystery adventure western that sort of thing so yeah and so for each little section there's like a whole bunch of books but then like a little fantasy scene sort of worked into it so we've got like what do we got for the western we've got yeah it looks like a western typical western street that you'd see in a movie but then there's all books around it and but all different western characters and things and adventure looks very much like 40,000 leagues under the sea something like that um you know romance is very like i don't know my fair lady type thing something like that yeah but there it's really beautiful this i mean i could go on there's like honestly so much detail in here and uh it's really intricate and it's just the colors are beautiful so yeah I always really have a lot of fun with these um, and yeah I of course I had to grab this one definitely a fan so next uh, we've got some other sort of large size puzzles here so we've got one here from Cobble Hill um, this is another I think a fairly new release one from them and it's very colorful and cute and it's called uh, um, rainbow cat quilt oh, 1000 pieces and it's this sort of, well, I guess it's, I mean, Cobble Hill seem to do a lot of kind of quilt inspired or quilt design puzzles. And I'm, I was going to say this is like quite cartoony, which it is, but I think it might actually be like a quilt design. Um, I don't know if it's like a photo of a quilt or it's just like a sort of uh, computer generated kind of cartoony little quilt design. But yeah, basically it's, I guess, a set of bookshelves full of cute kitties and like rainbow colored books. And it's like pot plants and other little ornaments that you see on bookshelves but yeah it's really cute and like it's not just plain colors like all the most of the cats and 
uh, the books and all the objects are sort of patterned as well like each book has got a different sort of like I guess colorful quilt fabric in it and even the cats are sort of patterned and yeah it's really cute very sweet again just a very happy cheery puzzle and uh, yeah glad to add a very colorful kitty cat puzzle to my collection and then speaking of kitty cats we have a, another very cute cat puzzle here from hey uh, so this one's a thousand pieces it's from the dreaming series by uh, Jeremiah Kettner I think I forgot to oh I don't know hang on um, let's see if this has an artist on this one because I forgot to mention it uh, I can't see it just says yeah Cobble Hill company so I don't know if it's going to say the artist on the inside or if it's sort of designed by Cobble Hill's own designers that could be the case um, so anyway yeah this one here is uh, Jeremiah Kettner and this particular one's called Kitty Cats and I actually recently got the like black cat from this series and I thought it's really cute and I like had seen a friend doing this one on Instagram I was like that is really cute I probably do need this need <laughs> but yeah it's just um, very colorful and sweet and kind of very like I guess a bit childish and very just cute and whimsical but yeah it's all these different cats and this colorful background and they seem to sort of all be connected by this swirly line and flowers and stars and things but yeah each cat's just really very cutely drawn and has looks a bit like um you know Japanese anime style because they've got big eyes and a big head so they're not like realistically drawn of course but yeah really cute and I think just a really fun one and then we've got one here from Schmidt um, so this is an Alona rainy one 1000 pieces and what is this one called um, no it's not going to tell me oh okay it's called blue sky of Christmas so yeah technically it's a Christmas puzzle it doesn't look at first glance it doesn't look super Christmassy but there definitely are some Christmas elements like we've got a little Santa down here and anything else oh some gifts Oh, a sleigh, but instead of reindeers, the sleigh seems to be pulled by um, doves. But anyway, in true uh, typical Alona Rainey style, it's a very beautiful, intricate, detailed puzzle with, she always has these sort of pearls or bubbles in like all of her uh, images and they're always filled with little birds and trees. It's always very like delicate and almost makes you think of like lace work or something. It's like so much tiny little very delicate details going on butterflies birds um, this one's also got like they're a bit abstract as well a bit like collagey like there seems to be bits of a house or windows um, and like lights and bird cages and things so there's all sorts of like little bits and pieces it's not her images are never quite exactly clear like what is going on it's more collagey um, but yeah it's very pretty and Hopefully I'll get to do this one for Christmas this year. And then the last three from this stack are all from Clementoni. So Clementoni put out a couple new color boom ones this year. Um, I think they've been out in Europe for a while, but only kind of recently came out here. So there's this 1000 piece one and it is called Marbles. And I mean, I just, I have, I think all of the other color boom Clementonis that they have available which I did a video on, which I will link up here. Um, so yeah, I of course had to grab these as well because they're just fun and colorful. This one looks pretty tricky though. It's like, although it's sort of kind of rainbow gradient-y, each little marble is very different. Yeah, so basically it's a cluster, whole collection of marbles, but they're sort of done in like kind of, well, they're all rainbow colors, but there's sort of like some greens here, yellows, kind of ready pinks, bluey purples, and kind of more greens. But even throughout, there's like some greens here and pinks over there. And so, you know, um, I actually, uh, it's not exactly the same, but there was like an Amy Stewart one a while ago called something marbles, something similar, um, completely different image, but like her own beautiful hand drawn marbles. And that kind of, they, this kind of reminds me of that a bit, but that was really hard, <laughs> quite challenging. So I'm like, I don't be fooled by this. It might be colorful and bright, but I think it'd be pretty tricky. But yeah, I think it'd be good fun. And I'm actually thinking of, why? Well, I'm not thinking, I am planning to do a video uh, of this and the next one. So yeah, I think that will be fun. And then the next one from Clementoni is 1500 pieces. 
and it's called Pixels. And uh, you know, this one is just really cool and bright and fun. So I thought I definitely wanted to add that to my collection as well. Um, I kind of like it. It's basically like a rainbow gradient, but it's sort of, yeah, all these like, it's called Pixels, but it almost, yeah, I guess it is these sort of like 3D little boxes, um, all at different sort of heights, I guess. It's like you're looking down at a bunch of 3D little cubes and some are like more lower or higher than others. Or it almost or kind of also makes me think of like lattice work. It looks like it's almost like ribbons woven or something. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I'm sure it's just like computer generated or something, but it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think I feel like this one, even though it's a larger piece count, it's probably going to be easier than the other one. So this might be the one I do in the video. I don't know. but. Um, either way, they both look cool and I think they'll be fun to do. And then the last one here from Clementoni, oh, it's kind of heavy. This is actually a 2000 piece one and I don't often buy 2000 piece puzzles because they take up a lot of space for me and I don't have a big puzzling area and a bit of a inconvenient, but you know, for the right puzzle, I will make the exception. So this one's called the Peaceful Jungle. And oh yeah, by the way, oh, okay. So this one is illustrated by Mari Amalia Bartolini. Hopefully I said that right. And I'm not sure, I keep forgetting to check artists. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if these have an artist listed. Again, they could just be like done by like the Clementoni design team. Sometimes it happens where, you know, puzzles are done sort of in-house. Um, yeah, I can't see. A specific artist for this and I I don't think I saw one on that either so they might just be they could even be like stock images sometimes um you know they'll just pay for like an image that's like from stock imagery and use that so it could be something like that whereas this is a particular artist and I've done one of her puzzles before like a 500 piece one but actually by Hay she's got like a range by Hay of the same things anyway I should probably show you the picture Ugh, uh, it's so hard to hold up um and I don't even sure this is gonna fit on the screen but I will put a picture up here. Um, yeah, it's just this cute, like, uh, painted, but it, her painting style looks almost embroidered. It's like quite interesting. I really like it. Um, it's, yeah, just a nice sort of jungly kind of nature scene of like, um, yeah, pretty trees and flowers and this sort of almost like a wetlands thing happening here. And it's like cute birds, giraffe, um, lions hugging, <laughs> uh, like, Tigers chilling out together, a cheetah, uh, some very beautiful birds. Yeah, it's really pretty. And uh, all these sort of same design elements or like this style of artwork is the same as in the Hay ones, but it is a different image. So yeah, I just thought this is really pretty. And um, yeah, I think it'd be pretty fun to do. So I don't know when I'm gonna get time to do it, but I, yeah, I think it'll be a really beautiful one when it's done. I've got a few here from an Australian company called La La Land and I think these are all pretty new. So this one's 1000 pieces and it's called Smiley and when I first saw this I was like this absolutely has to join the collection, no question about it. Um, and it's actually celebrating like it's like a collaboration with the original sort of smiley face icon or graphic and it's celebrating 50 years so it's pretty cool. But yeah they've done this really gorgeous totally me kind of puzzle so it's got the smiley in the middle and then all around it are all these colorful fun kind of pop culture -y things like we've got a blow up um what is it like a pool floaty flamingo we've got like a maneki neko welcome cat there's like kind of andy warhol looking bananas there um like cherubs with sunglasses what else just yeah pink dolphins um tigers like cockatoos, donuts, like all sorts of just colorful things and objects and animals and people. And yeah, it's really, it's just really fun and colorful. And I yeah, really like this design. I think it's yeah, very me. So I'm really excited to uh, have this one and hopefully I get to do it soon. And yeah, it has like a little blurb about the whole smiley, like, I guess the idea behind it and everything. So that's kind of cool. And um, I don't know, I think, they have their, um, yeah, it just has them as like the artists because I'm pretty sure they have their own in-house like illustrators and designers. So yeah, but I really like this. I think it's super cool. And then next from La La Land as well is 1000 piece puzzle called Posh Pooch's Resort and it's very cute. I'm 
a cat person but you know if I see a very cute dog puzzle I often have to get it um yeah it's just this very like it looks like a palm springs type of setting a uh, very nice little courtyard with all these like palms and um yeah palm trees and fronds and things and cactus plants and this beautiful pool looks very luxurious I guess it's yeah the it's a resort the pooches posh pooches resort you can even see the sort of mountains I guess Californian type hills or mountains in the background and there's even a sneaky little cat here with a bandana on because it's stylish you know peeking in checking in all these pooches and seeing what they're up to but yeah there's like very cute dressed up doggies uh, got like a dog in it with a glass of champagne and wearing a nice hat and necklace and there's um, a cute dog on a like pool floaty and some others on a pool floaty and there's like uh you know cute poodle with a bow and one dressed in a fluffy little jumper yeah they're all up to uh they're just relaxing and looking their finest and you know looking very cute they must clearly all be rich celebrities i think but yeah very fun and uh, a very cute addition to my collection and then the next one also by la la land like it's hard to say uh, 1000 piece 1000 pieces and it's called mexican dream and um it's a frida kahlo inspired or it is frida kahlo but it's just like beautiful and fantastical and they've actually done like I think one or two others with Frida Kahlo in it and I've done one and I really enjoyed it I thought it was just really beautiful so yeah I think this is nice like really nice as well it's got her and then she has this sort of headpiece that's just filled with like flowers and birds and fruit yeah like this sort of tropical like crazy collection so you've got a flaming heart but it's got like parrots in there and beautiful colorful flowers like a watermelon and then um, down in this part there's like these sort of I guess kind of Mexican inspired sort of tile design like mosaics behind her and and she's got her monkey which featured like in one of the previous puzzles and like a parrot but yeah it's just beautiful butterflies and everything as well um, yeah really stunning very colorful and yeah I thought this just looked gorgeous and then next um, I've got three here from what is it the magic puzzle company and I actually bought them all as like a set like a deal um, Amazon end up having like a really good like price like I've had these sort of on my Amazon wish list watch list for ages but I've always ummed and ahed about them because they've been a bit pricey and then they had like all three for like just a little bit more than the cost of a single one so I was like okay I think now's the time if I'm ever going to get them so the first one um, is 1000 pieces the mystic maze and yeah they all sort of feature very detailed little stuff going on and I know there's like I mean no one spoil it for me because I um, you know haven't done any of these but I do know there is some sort of trick or something interesting that happens after you finish the puzzle so I'm intrigued and looking forward to it these are quite heavy too um, so oh and this this one has artwork done by Boya Sun um, and it's just yeah like I guess a maze but each like sort of section of the maze is like some little different sort of theme or has is filled with all sorts of fantasy creatures so it looks like there's this like maybe same little person and this little yellow hoodie who's like I guess meant to be you maybe like running around the maze so they seem to appear everywhere but yeah each little section is different has different kind of colorful creatures um, or little like I guess challenges even that they have to get past or scary things um, I don't know yeah I don't know if this is the I guess it's not exactly the whole image on the front I don't know if it shows you the whole image anywhere like it sort of just has sections of it on the back um, if I can find the whole image I'll pop it there or I'll just put the front of the um, puzzle up there so you can see it better but yeah so much going on I'm not going to describe everything but just lots of cute creatures and very fantasy and very uh, interesting and fun looking and heavy and then the next one from them as well is the happy isles also 1000 pieces this is quite uh, a bit more bold and colorful like a bit more primary colors I can already see lots of cats so I'm already impressed um, and so this artworks by Sarah Beckham or Beacon I'm not sure I apologize I'm always butchering names it's just just come to expect it okay so uh, yeah from what I can tell like the name suggests it's lots of islands but I guess they're all happy and yeah there's a cat island it's very cute and there's an island that has like mushrooms and mushroom people um, there's one that looks very Icelandic with like a volcano and people enjoying like a little hot spring kind of thing and 
Um, yeah, there's all sorts of like fun little kind of people and figures and creatures and yeah, each island's like a different little theme. Very cute, very colorful. I think this would be a very fun one to do as well. And then the last one from them is the Sunny City and it's by Felicia Chiao. I tried guys I tried and this one's a bit more subdued in color it's more brownie it almost looks like sort of old parchment it's got that sort of very like brownie faded weathered look about it and um, yeah I guess it's a city and it's all different little buildings and houses with these little characters all doing different things and yeah like all of them are very like detailed and have like so much stuff going on and little characters getting up to all sorts of fun little activities and yeah I guess this one is too but I kind of like even though it's like not as colorful as the others I like all the little details and sort of like tiles on the roofs and yeah someone with a cat on a roof like it's still really cute so I think it's going to be fun too and then we have a three here from Ibu I was going to say Ravensburg I'm like no we've done those so the first one is a 500 piece one and it's round and it's called Woodland Creatures and I think I actually saw Minty Fizz Puzzles uh, post this one and I was like oh I need it it's so cute and pretty so um, thank you for influencing me <laughs> so this one is really sweet and yeah it's just got yeah woodland creatures so it's got like a little I guess porcupine because um, here we have echidnas which are different and then there's hedgehogs I'm like guessing those are different again if anyone knows the difference between a porcupine and a hedgehog feel free to let me know and there's a cute fox and we've got like little birds and like insects and what else a little nest um, yeah and lots of like like mushrooms and flowers and I guess all sorts of plants and creatures flora and fauna of woodlands which we don't really have here in Australia we have different sort of type of trees and plants and creature creatures I was gonna say critters and creatures <laughs> uh, but yeah I think this is really cute really sweet and yeah, just a really pretty 500 piece image so definitely looking forward to it I'm not sure how new it is I don't think it's super new but yeah really happy to have this one and then this one here I think is a bit of an older design as well it's 1000 pieces and it's called family dinner night um, and oh, who's the art oh actually excuse me who is the artist on this one it is I don't know is it gonna tell me um, Oana B. Fort or Befort. So that's the artist of this one. Sorry, I constantly am forgetting in this video who, to tell you who the artist is. And the artist of this one is Asai Nagata, who um, sounds like a very, yeah, it's a, they're Japanese. Um, and I've actually seen their artwork on a Cloudberries puzzle, and I think there's some other puzzle brands out there with their artwork, and I just really like it. It's um, really cute and very, has a real 70s nostalgic kind of vintage vibe looks very screen printy because there's like the colors are very like it's sort of very 2d with lots of little it's, it's got a lot of detail but they're all made from little simple shapes and you can even see where like different colors have sort of overlapped a bit from like I guess the screen print sort of thing like definitely looks like it's been done that way um, but yeah this one's just like it says it's a family dinner but the family consists of all sorts of people and uh, animals and stuff so we've got like a pink elephant and we've got someone in a beret so we've got like humans and then we've got like I guess a duck or a goose and a giraffe and yeah it's just like all different people and animals coming together having a nice dinner and they've got all nice looking food and yeah the house they're in is very ornate with this beautiful balcony and like these nice uh, windows and like, books and yeah there's just so much going on and there's little critters and stuff everywhere and it's very patterned and yeah I love the color palette of this one with like the pinks and blues and yellows very sort of pastel and cute um, yeah really pretty and uh, yeah glad to have this one in my collection as well and then we have a teeny weeny one here from Ibu um, and this one was actually very kindly sent to me from one of my viewers who's also a uh, fellow uh, puzzle friend on Instagram so uh, this was sent to me from the puzzles I've done I'll, I'll pop her details in the description below with this puzzle and actually the next one because she sent me that too and I'll try and put her handle on the screen so you can go follow her on Instagram um, so this is a really teeny mini cute mini puzzle 36 pieces and it's called on the moon and it's just this really cute little vintage style illustration of 
basically uh, on the moon landing, like you can see Earth in the background and the sky, like the, I guess, stars, like galaxy. And it's got a sort of vintage little space rocket. And yeah, all these like cute little animals have landed in a, you know, doing sciencey space stuff. So we've got a, like a screw and a bunny with their little glass kind of like astronaut helmet on. And is that a, yeah, I think it's a badger and like a little mouse. And yeah, it's very cute. So I think, yeah, this is kind of perfect timing because I just like recently got that mini Gallison and this sort of micro puzzle. So yeah, I've been adding a few little mini puzzles to my collection. So yeah, very pleased to have that. It's just adorable. And then the last puzzle, which was also sent to me from the puzzles I've done, um, is a like a vintage Springbok. So this one is called Kitten Caboodle and it's 500 pieces and it is just super adorable and kitsch. It's completely like kitsch and cutesy. Um, I believe this is from the 80s, um, which I think, you know, we can still consider that to be vintage because it's, you know, I'm from the 80s and I feel pretty vintage. So, <laughs> there, so yeah, as far as I'm concerned, me and this puzzle are both vintage. Um, but yeah, it's this very like sort of, I sort of remember this style from like, seeing this sort of illustration from like the 80s and 70s and it's very kitsch and cutesy and it's just like yeah it's just ridiculous and it's cats and it's cute and it's over the top and i really love it so yeah i'm actually going to be doing a video on this very soon so keep an eye out for that um yeah and i'm really excited to try like the older style uh springbok pieces so i think it's going to be a lot of fun and yeah really cute to put together so these ones here are from another Australian brand and the uh, company's called Ruby Olive Online or Ruby Olive and the sort of brand of puzzles is Row & Co. Um, and this one is 1000 pieces and it's called In The Garden and the artist is, I'll tell you in a sec, Andrea Smith. And I actually previously um, was gifted a puzzle by them by the same artist, which I did like a whole Instagram post and stuff on so you can go check that out if you're interested um, but yeah the artist does really beautiful work so this is not obviously the whole image but you've got the whole image there and inside the lid of the box as well um, but yeah it's really pretty so uh, all her work is like featuring it like Australian flora and fauna and she does all her work using like sort of painted um, collaged cut out bits of paper so like all this is like done with colorful paper that she sort of hand painted and everything and then made these beautiful images out of so yeah it's really cool and um i don't know if you're about to see it in the image but yeah if you ever get to do one of these you can always you can see like the sort of shadows from the paper and everything so it's yeah really nice beautiful textures um but yeah this one is like stunning uh it features some beautiful like colorful birds i think they're oh, i'm not sure which type of sort of parrot they are they're like they like ro rosella birds they might be we have a few different like colorful types of little parrots like parakeet rainbow or rain rainbow lorikeets but these like more bluey red ones i think are like i think they're called rosellas but i could be wrong i don't know if she says what they are no i don't think so but anyway they are like an australian type of little sort of parroty parakeet kind of bird and yeah it's got like a what looks like wattle and like a um I think it's a banksia like all different types of australian like native plants here and like yeah the birds in the middle yeah it's really cute very yeah just really beautiful i like the sort of dark background on this one actually because it really makes all the other elements really pop and stand out although um my experience on the previous puzzle it had like a sort of plain colored background too and some of these areas here which didn't have a lot of detail in were a bit tricky so i think this could be as well but yeah i think it's going to be very beautiful and I really enjoyed the last one by the same artist, so I think I'll definitely be uh, enjoying this one too. And then I've got three more here from them. So this one here is a really cute one. 1,000 pieces, it's called Rainbow Room. Um, again, the whole image is not on the front, but on the back. And this one is by uh, Brooke Gossen. And it's this really cute, um, it has a dog. It doesn't have a cat, unfortunately, but it's still very cute. It's just like someone's very stylish, you know, swanky, trendy kind of, I guess, lounge room, sitting room area. There's this lovely blue couch and colorful cushions with a cute dog sleeping on it. And then all behind them is like, uh, like in the background is like all these nice stylish bookshelves with like 
you know, uh, the very designery way of sorting your books into rainbows, which is cool. So little rainbow book sections here and um, like all different ornaments on the bookshelves and there's like lots of plants in the background and other furnishings. So yeah, it's just a really, yeah, like the name suggests, a rainbow room, very colorful and pretty and cute details. And I quite like the sort of stylized, like sort of type of artwork, sort of simplistic, like lots of detail, but again, just made up of simple little shapes, not too fussy. It's quite like nice. So yeah, I think it's a really pretty one. And then the next two I think are by the same artist. Um, this one's called Seagull's Day Out and the colors are just beautiful. Love them, but it's actually a round puzzle. And um, is it, wait, it's yeah, 1000 pieces and it's by Deb um, McNaughton. And I believe all of the artists that they collaborate with are all female and also all Australian. So very like, you know, woman owned business type of thing. Like, yeah, so yeah, very cool. Oh, and they don't just do puzzles, this company, Rivia Olive, they do like sort of accessories and other things as well, but using like the artwork from the artists on all of those. So they have, yeah, really colorful stuff, very me. And yeah, really cool Australian woman owned and yeah, Australian artists, so very cool. Oh um, yeah, so Seagull's Day Out, it's this like artwork's very colorful, but very abstract. Like you can sort of see a little seagull, but everything else is very, like I don't really know, it's just sort of shapes and colors and very painty. Um, but yeah, really pretty, like lots of bright pastels and pinks and purples. And yeah, they, they've done a good job on sort of matching the box color with the sort of colors in the picture, like teals and purples and pinks and things. So yeah, I think it's fun. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I can really identify as anything, just the seagull. <laughs> but yeah, it looks, it looks fun. I think it'd be pretty, maybe because it's like abstract, it might be quite kind of mindful and a bit more relaxing, that sort of thing. So yeah, but it looks, looks cool. And the next one also, um, I think, yeah, by the same artist, uh, Deb McNaughton is called The Mighty Jungle and it's very similar like style, very painty and abstract. And it's also round, did I say 1000 pieces, sorry. Um, and there's a few things that are identifiable, like sort of flower shaped things, but most stuff again is very abstract and sort of paint splashes and strokes and yeah it's really cool very interesting um and again very sort of maybe a little bit more vibrant like less pastel than the other one but still very you know very pretty pinks and purples and teals and things but yeah i've had those two especially on my sort of wish list for quite some time and they had a big sale so very happy to grab these on sale and yeah i just think they're really just really pretty images even though they're not like specifically of anything i guess they're more abstract but yeah beautiful and then uh, speaking of beautiful puzzles, I have some here from Minty Fizz Puzzles and Kelly from Minty Fizz kindly uh, sent these to me to try out. So thank you very much. And I've actually recently done a video on these, so I'll pop that up in the cards. Uh, so this first one is 1000 pieces and it's called Prismatic Scales and all of the Minty Fizz puzzles are very much my type of puzzles. They're all colorful, and rainbow, and just really beautiful. Um, I haven't yet done this one. I'm hoping to do it soon, but I've done the other two coming up, but yeah, it's just all these sort of like these rainbow scales like they I think it might have been done with little cut out bits of paper but it looks a bit more painterly here but yeah it's got all the little shadows of the scales so yeah really pretty kind of like I guess a simple like uh repeated design in a weird way like the shape is simple I should say and then it's just lots and lots of yeah these like nice little scales everywhere but yeah the colors are just stunning so that's not the whole image the whole image is on the back but yeah really pretty um i think it looks tricky though actually because it's not just there's like multiple colors in different areas so i think that might be a bit uh difficult to put together but i think very fun but i'm sure this one's going to be stunning because the other two definitely were but yeah really love this one um and i've had my eye on it for quite some time so very happy to have this in the collection and then the next one, which I did in the video, uh, is called Gilded Berries. And so not the whole image there, but we've got the whole image here. And um, yeah, just stunning. These beautiful, like sort of, I guess, gilded or gold sort of lined, outlined leaves with the like lines of the leaves done in the same sort of goldy kind of color. Yeah, beautiful, vibrant, vivid colored leaves, lots of rich colors and little berries. Um, this was very tricky to do, but I really enjoyed it. The like final result was just 
absolutely stunning very like yeah just really beautiful um and yeah just yeah love the colors in it and i think this is a, just a gorgeous one and really happy to have done it and have it in my collection as well and then the last one which i also did in the video is a little 500 piece one and it's called stained windows again i guess this is not exactly the whole image but it is on the back and yeah it's just sort of a again a sort of simple design but it looks so striking and stunning it's like and it's sort of quite abstract like the name suggests stained windows it kind of reminds you of like stained glass panels with like these beautiful rich colors so yeah we've got each panel i think this might have been done with watercolors because it's got that sort of look and feel about it each little panel is like looks very watercolory but with like very rich colors so there's a bit of gradient sort of going on in each one yeah really lovely uh looks stunning yeah really uh happy to have this on the in the collection and have a chance to do it as well so yeah beautiful and then i've got three here from the new york puzzle company um, which are all by the artist janet hill i have been on a janet hill studio shopping spree um, when i saw her designs i just sort of fell in love with her style it's so fun and whimsical so this first one is called all paws on deck and it's 500 pieces she tends to do a lot of cats and cute dogs and animals and stuff in her uh, puzzles and they're always like very sort of vintage themed and a bit quirky and very whimsical so this one's very cute um, it's basically like looks like this lady and all her kitty cat friends or family are on a nice cruise ship um, there's even another cruise ship in the background and they're just relaxing on deck so she's in a hammock just chilling out with her beautiful hat vintage hat and sunglasses reading a book um, with all these cats which some of them are have have sunglasses on and they're just looking very happy there's even one hanging off here one hang, hanging out in the little like what's this called like lifesaver floating thingy don't know the technical term um, and then these cute cats that are dressed up and chilling out on these deck chairs um, with sunglasses and little hats and it looks like they've got sunscreen lotion it's yeah it's very cute um it's quite a nice little painty style um but yeah all her images are just lovely and i mean how could i say no to the the cat one so yeah really cute and then the next one is from her as well um indoor it's called indoor tennis and it's 1000 pieces and i don't know if there's any cats at this one actually but it's this very like posh vintage looking very grandiose bedroom with this beautiful like uh, I don't know what you call it like this sort of curtain hanging over the bed but it's these two girls who look they look dressed in very sort of 60s attire actually and they're playing tennis inside and they've just made a big mess of everything like they they've knocked paintings like off the wall and there's a, like a spilt vase and a knocked over chair but they just seem to be so um, focused on their playing tennis um, why they're playing inside I don't know but I'm sure like they're you know family is not going to be too impressed with the mess they've made but yeah it's really it's such a weird sort of like theme but it's very pretty like even like the wallpaper is very detailed and ornate and it's like you know cute little plush toys on the bed and pillows and tennis balls everywhere but yeah so just again beautiful just a beautiful image and lots of sort of vintage very pretty details and then last one from this stack we have one more stack to go after this is also another janet hill uh, new york puzzle company one and it's called bubble bath and it's 1000 pieces and it's just a really pretty sweet image and quite weird and fun um, so it's like this little girl i don't know if she's in the bath or she's sort of giving these animals a bath but there's like all a bunch of dogs in the bath and this one's got like a shower cap and one's got a little pirate hat on and what else is happening um yeah and there's all these bubbles everywhere and there's like another dog down here like in a towel or something and one's got like a there's a dog down here with a little towel turban on but it has a mermaid tail so i'm not sure if it's a mer dog or if it's got like a fake tail on and it looks like they've got like a toy octopus and a toy i think it's a toy like alligator and and i notice there's a little pink like parrot or galar and it seems to have an eye patch on so just weird but and quirky and very whimsical so yeah I, I just thought this was just a really fun image as well and yeah glad to add it to the collection 
we're up to our last stack of puzzles. So I've got a bunch here from Gallison, and I know, I know, I always go on about how their quality and pieces annoy me, but they have the most beautiful images and I'm always a sucker and well, I got a bunch more. So <laughs> this first one is 1000 pieces and it's a round puzzle and it's called uh, Circle of Avian Friends by the artist Janine Zlarkis. I hope I said that right. Um, and I think she, I, I think she, they um, did a puzzle that I had in the previous haul, I think it was, which was like Desert Avian Friends. But anyway, so same style and features is really adorable little birds and flowers and some like, you know, insects like a moth and butterflies and little bug and stuff. But yeah, it's just very pretty and um, yeah, it's a really interesting style. Like it's, I don't know, it has a bit of a vintage feel to it and the colors are a bit more muted, but yeah, it's just really sweet and cute. And I think this would be a really cool like round puzzle to do. I think it's just a really cool image. So yeah, very pretty and uh, glad to have this one. And then we have another round puzzle. Um, this one is called Luna de Flor and it's also 1000 pieces and it's by the artist Mina Hamada. And it actually really reminds me of the ones we just saw, those two round ones from Ruby Olive, like Row Co. It's very similar colors, but it's a bit more, uh, it's still abstract, but it feels a little bit more, less painterly, a bit more structured. Um, the shapes, I guess, feel a bit more, things feel a bit more geometric. Like it does look like this sort of painted bits in here, but it's like less paint splatters and a bit more uh, like, I don't know, not deliberate, but like, yeah, maybe more less, less spontaneous maybe. So, but yeah, very like, yeah, interesting and abstract. Um, and I guess Luna de Floor, is that like, isn't Luna moon and floor is flower maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure, but something like that. But either way, I don't, I can't really see anything super specific in here. Maybe like, flowery type things but it's mostly just sort of abstract shapes and patterns and designs and things but yeah i love the colors i think it's really pretty and yeah i think this is going to be a really like fun and bright colorful one to do as well and then we've got this very beautiful one from them which is it's 750 pieces and it's a shaped puzzle it's this like heart floral heart and it's called flora heart and does it say who it's by I don't know. Um, oh, art, uh, artwork by Julie Seabrook Ream. And yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, I'm looking at a picture on the back as well. They kind of look like photos of flowers. So yeah, it might be like sort of photographed and collaged. They look a little bit more like fantastical than like, I guess, real flowers maybe, like as in maybe they've been a little bit like digitally altered or something. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I guess to create the image, but yeah, very beautiful, super vibrant, rich, colorful flowers. I just, yeah, when I saw someone on Instagram do this, I was just like, oh, it's just so stunning and <laughs> thought it was just absolutely beautiful. And it was like, where can I get me one of these? <laughs> but yeah, I just really like as well that this is a, a shaped one. I just think it's really cute. I've got another shaped one by them where it's like a cat and like a stack of books. And I quite enjoyed that. I thought it was fun. So yeah, I think this one will be a really beautiful one to do. And then we've got a couple little 500 piece ones here. So this one is called Eastern Block Telephones, 500 pieces. Um, and it's just, I think it's really cool. It's all these like vintage old style uh, rotary telephones, which I used to have, I grew up with one. Um, so some of these like that one there looks very much like the one I had. I think the one I had was more like beigey color, but it was that sort of style, like classic rotary phone. So I used to call all my friends in high school on it. <laughs> How cool. Um, but yeah, this is like, yeah, I really like it because it's just so kind of kitsch and vintage and very 70s, 80s. Like, so it's all these little, like a grid of all different rotary style phones. Some are really interesting looking and like some are quite colorful, like a hot pink one and purple and green and blue. And then behind each one, they've sort of put a very 70s-esque kind of like pattern, like maybe the wallpaper or fabric or something so yeah it's very very detailed and just really like quite fun i like it i think it's really cool um so yeah i just yeah it really appealed to me <laughs> and then the last one from gallison or well, it's actually mud puppy but that's like part of gallison is a really cute one it's 500 pieces and it's called hungry plants oh sorry i've done this again i've forgotten to say who the artist is um oh okay oh so it's like design slash photos by troy Litton. I know his name, he's done like a whole bunch of other 
interesting things. I can't recall what other ones, but I feel like I have some other things from him or I've at least eyed stuff off from him. And so yeah, this one's Hungry Plants, 500, 500 ple- pieces, oh, I can't talk. It says fly traps and other carnivorous plants. And the artist for this one is uh, Natasha Durley. And yeah, it's this, it's kind of maybe more for kids, but I don't care. I think it's just a beautiful little uh, illustration and it actually is a little bit educational because it's got all these beautiful, well, yeah, fly trap and carnivorous plants. So yeah, all these like, those really weird and interesting type of plants that eat bugs and things, but it's actually got next to each one like their, I think it's like their Latin name um, or like, uh, maybe not the Latin name, but like the name of each type of plant. It's got it in tiny little writing, but yeah, it's very like a very whimsical style, quite colorful, very pretty. There's even like some little bugs in there who are mm, probably not going to last too long around these plants. But yeah, the style is really interesting. I'm not quite sure how she's done it. There's like some of the plants are like quite simple shapes, but have got interesting little textures or sort of paint splattery patterns on them. But yeah, really cute and fun. And then the last lot of puzzles here are all from the uh, brand Badge Bomb, which sort of mostly do puzzles, but they have like stickers and some little like other bits and pieces too. And they work with a range of like really like fun artists. So let's have a look. Although, okay, so we've got, I think they're all, yeah, they're all 500 pieces. And this one is called, I don't know. Oh, it's called Wildcats. And I think I was looking before to see what the, who the artist was, but even on their website, I couldn't find one for this. So maybe they sort of did it in house again, but yeah, it's like really fun and colorful. It's just all these wild cats. So you've got like cheetahs and tigers and well, actually, one of them's a wild indoor cat or a domesticated wild cat. Maybe it's a stray, I don't know, but sort of tabby looking cat. Um, but yeah, it's like got lions and things and then all these like leaves and foliage and stuff, but it's really cool. Everything's very like stylized and a bit cartoony and really fun, funky, bright colors. Um, I like how it's like, they really stand out on the dark background. Uh, yeah, it's just really bright and fun and Kind of quirky and interesting um but yeah I, I like that one i thought it was cool and then this next one from them is also 500 pieces and it is by it's called puzzler's paradise and it's by allison cole and so all of these are very cat themed okay so this is a you know someone's lovely lounge or sitting room got a nice comfy couch and cushions they've got lots of you know clearly good taste have lots of artwork on the walls and beautiful plants and knickknacks like a record player and wool and they are doing a puzzle so they're clearly a very cool awesome person um has a mug there it says not before my coffee there but yeah it's got like a puzzle there and then the most important things that are in this apart from the puzzle are the cute cats that are in here so there's a cat sleeping and we've got a couple of other cats that are looking very mischievous so i mean this one's naughty because it's playing with puzzle pieces on the floor but yeah, it's just such a cute, like really fun style. And it's just a really fun, silly, cute, lighthearted image. And um, yeah, it's sort of like lots of fun details and very cute. And I like the style. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a really enjoyable one to do. And then I've got a couple more here. So this one here is another 500, 500 piece. Interestingly, they have like some different box sizes. Like I'm not, I don't know if it's like maybe some came out like some are older than others maybe but yeah like you can see the they're all 500 but different boxes so it's quite a cute little compact box this one so this one's by the same artist Alison Cole and it's 500 pieces and it's called Perfect Plants and it's the same style as the other one but it's really pretty this beautiful purple image and again it's in someone's house maybe the same house and it's like you know this shelf full of plants and they've got like artwork on the walls including a lovely cat picture here and then of course it features some kitty cats that are looking well one sleeping again I think it might even be the same kitty sleeping from the other one um, and then we've got a black and white kitty here this white kitty looks like it's smooching the pot plants and this black one looks like it wants to you know muck around and maybe knock over a few <laughs> pot plants and go climbing and exploring but yeah really cute very detailed, just a really fun image as well. 
And then the very last one by, from Badge Bomb is by the artist Gemma, Gemma Coral, and it's called Catitude. And I think this one's been out for a while. I think I've seen it for quite a while and has been on my wish list. 500 pieces, and it's just this really fun, cartoony, like whole bunch crowd of cats. And it's just sort of like their heads or necks and heads, and it's just got like they're all got little, they're all different colors and are very cute with different expressions, but they're all saying different things. Like one says, nope, meh, shut up, no way, in your dreams, I'm busy. So they're all a bit uh, sassy, these cats. Um, and then one's got like a jacket that says nap life. I can relate. Um, one's got a hat that says too cute to care. But yeah, so some have some cute accessories. But yeah, it's very fun. And I think, yeah, gonna, I've been sort of like really itching to do these ones. I think they're just all really cute, but I've been so busy doing other things and I'm like, oh, I really wanna like get stuck into some of these because I haven't tried any puzzles from Badge Bomb. So I'm interested to see what the quality's like, but also mainly because the images are just so cute and catty. Um, so hopefully this month I'll get to try them out. But yeah, another really cute cat puzzle. So that is everything for the month of September. Well, that was certainly a lot of puzzles. I'm pretty sure the September haul was just as big as the previous one. Um, and during the month of September, I really didn't feel like I had that many, but then when I gathered them all together for this video, I suddenly realized how many there were. Uh, but I'm really happy with the ones that I did add to the collection. There's just so many beautiful images, um, lots of like colorful ones, of course, and lots of different brands, even a couple of new brands. So yeah, really pleased with the mix of puzzles. So in the comments below, let me know what you thought of this month's haul and were there any here that you also managed to pick up or are there any here that are on your wish list? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.